Interested in making your own top trumps cards? In this video I will show you how to. Check the description for more help along the way. And please like the video if it helped you. Subscribe of course if you want to be reminded of my future content. Start with a blank database. Now give it a suitable name. Top trumps sound good to me. Don't forget to hit the create button. This is datasheet view, but I want you to switch to design view. Access will ask you to save first. So go to design view. I'm showing off and using the Leshinsky naming convention. I've wrote TBL to point out it is a table. I've also used underscores to separate the words to make it clearer. Now let's add the fields. In Access each card has to have a unique ID. I'll rename it to card ID and leave it as auto number. It will automatically give each card a number. Now I need to add the categories I want on my top trumps cards. In Access these are called fields. As my topic is football I will start with the footballer's name. I will leave the data type as short text as it will be their name. You don't need a description here but it helps to remind you what it is. It won't appear on the card. Notice how I've just added goals as a number. That's because on the card I want how many goals they've scored. It could also be a rating. Adding a photograph is a bit different. You need to choose attachment. Quick tip 2. I find JPG images work best for the cards. So one way to make the database better could be to add data validation. When you select the field with numbers in, in my case, that's goals. Look down at the validation rule. Only numbers between 0 and 15 are allowed. I've added some validation text to explain this to the person entering the data too. Of course it will be me this time. But you should prepare it as if anyone could be using it. I'm flipping back to goals now to show you the lookup wizard to create a drop down menu of choices. Choose I will type the values that I want and then enter what you want in the drop down menu. To give you an idea it will look like this. Once you have all the numbers you want you can give it a name and tick the limit to list if you want to stop other numbers being entered. To enter your card data you need to go back to datasheet view now, saving as you switch views. You can adjust the column width if you need to. And remember you don't have to worry about the card ID. I am typing in the field. Each row along represents one card in your pack. To add your image, double click on the paper clip. Press the add button and locate your image. It's best if your images and database are in the same folder. However, you can also locate them later in Microsoft Publisher. So you will see me entering just a few records now for my cards. Usually, Top Trumps has 30 cards so you would need 30 records in the database if you have time. It's the top left icon to save the database and the top right to close access. Make sure you do this now before you open Microsoft Publisher. Blank A4 Portrait is what I go for in Microsoft Publisher. I am now creating my top trumps card template. It's up to you. I'm only making a basic one here. You could use shapes like I have, have a background or even a border. I'm using online pictures to theme it a bit but if you have graphic design skills you could put those to good use here. I guess if I had more time, I would look at examples of top trumps cards on the web. 
Remember the card you see here is a template. You don't need to make any other cards at this stage. They will be made automatically. Oops. I've not saved yet. Better do that as you never know. I tend to save in the same folder. So that is where my database and images for the top trumps are. It's time to link the database to the card. Go to the Mailings tab. Select Recipients and choose the Existing List option. This is where you pick your top trumps database. You will see the records that you created. I only have a few if you remember, but anyway click OK ready for the next step. <laughs> Under Mailings, go to Insert Merge Field. Ignore card ID but you need to click on a field. Publisher will add it to your card. You can of course move it around to where you want the data to show. Sorry it's a bit blurry but you may be able to make out the arrows. These are to show it's a field in your database. Don't delete them or any of the text. You can change the font though. Like the color or size. I clicked off the first field and I am now adding another field. I am going to change the font a bit so have sped the video up a little for you. If you need more publisher videos perhaps leave a comment below the video and I will see if I can make some. You also need to press draw text box so you can add a label to describe the data on the card. It would just be a name and number otherwise. Again I will resize it. I guess it will depend on how many categories you have to fit on but you can fill the page as everything will shrink to smaller than a 4 later in the video. I'm just finishing up and then I will show you how to add an image. It's worth considering the alignment of text to make it easier to read the top trumps card. So to add an image you don't go to insert merge field. Instead, you choose picture then insert picture field. If you need to tell publisher to look in another folder you can press specify folders but if you have everything in the same folder just press OK. You can resize and move the image just as you would text. So now let's preview the card by going to mailings and then the preview results button. You can preview each card by using the navigation arrows. If your image is cut off you can make it fit by selecting it and pressing the fit button. And if you don't see an image turn off the preview, click on the photo icon then add the correct folder to the specified folders. I showed you some formatting earlier but I am just making some final changes before preparing for printing. Go to finish and merge. If you wanted to generate all the cards in one file you would choose merge to new publication. But I want to merge to printer as I am using a virtual printer. That's right a virtual printer. As in one, you can't touch. I use a virtual one as it prints on the screen so I can check the cards look good without wasting any paper, ink or toner. So again it's finish and merge and merge to printer for me. This is where it gets tricky as you may not have the same printers as me. But hopefully, you will be able to still find one to shrink multiple cards onto one sheet of paper. So let's look at the printing settings. You will want to choose multiple pages per sheet. You should see different cards on the page then. Be careful as multiple copies per sheet would be the same card on the page. I chose Arch D as it fits 8 onto one piece of A4. But you can see which is best for you. I only have 4 cards in my database which is why you can't see more. Make sure don't print lines without record is ticked so you don't get any blank cards. Then when you press print it will ask you to save the cards onto your computer. And there you go. If you made it too, good job. You can check them and print them to a real printer from here. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped create your very own top trumps cards. In the video description, there's a helpful sheet that goes step by step too. Remember to like and subscribe to enjoy computing and see you again soon.